Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to know if Travis Barker dated Kim Kardashian before Courtney. Let's get right into it. Travis Barker has been in a happy relationship with Courtney Kardashian since late 2020, but she wasn't the first Kardashian family member to whom he drew close. He was dating Paris Hilton more than a decade ago when he met Kim Kardashian, who was working as Hilton's assistant at the time. Despite assertions made by his ex-wife, Shanna Mochler, nothing physical happened between Kim and Barker throughout their flirting friendship. Alabama, Barker's daughter, revealed an alleged text message received by her mother alleging Barker had cheated on her with Kim earlier this month. The alleged text said, I divorced Travis because I caught him having an affair with Kim. Now he's in love with her sister. He then allegedly said, It's all gross. I'm not the bad guy. So, how did the Blink-182 frontman and the KKW beauty founder get along? Well, we have half of the answers in Travis's memoir, published years before he started dating Courtney, where he discussed his affections for Kim. In the memoir, it was clear that before the premiere of Keeping Up With The Kardashians in 2007, they had a strong friendship. Travis wrote, She wanted to do a reality show because she thought her family was interesting and obviously she was right. He then added, I respected her hustle. She was meeting with Ryan Seacrest and she wanted to know what doing a show was like. Barker, who had filmed Meet the Barkers with Mochler in 2005 before their split, gave her advice writing, It's hectic, I told her. You have no privacy. It's not just you and your family in the house. It's really personal and it can be really f***ed up. He did, however, have a crush. The Can a Drummer Get Some artist described an Amsterdam vacation with the Simple Life star and Kim, whom he dubbed Paris's Closet Girl in his book. He wrote, We all checked into our hotel and then rented bicycles and rode all over Amsterdam. That's what you do there. He then added, It was me, Lil Chris, my drum tech Daniel, Paris and Kim. We all got high as a kite at a coffee shop. Then we rode over to the Absinthe Bar and then to the Red Light District. I was having a blast and was happy to let the world know it. I kept on secretly checking out Kim telling Lil Chris, I don't care if she's the closet girl, she's f***ing hot. On top of that, Travis also mentioned Kim in an exclusive interview with us about the attraction. He said, how could you not stare at Kim? Mind you, I enjoyed hanging out with Paris, but I love curvy girls. He then added, Kim was eye candy. I was in no way disrespectful to Paris, but I couldn't keep my eyes off Kim. After breaking up with Hilton and briefly reuniting and splitting with Mochler, the Transplants members started talking to the Skims founder shortly after her sex tape with Ray J was leaked in 2007. He wrote in his book, We had stayed in touch after Amsterdam and she did some modeling for Famous. I hired Estevan Oriol to shoot a whole ad campaign of her in bathing suits. Kim's tape had come out and she had broken up with Ray J. He then added details about their connection saying, we went to dinner, we went to lunch. You might think I would be doing the worst things with this girl because of her tapes, but it's the exact opposite of any other encounter I've had with a woman. With Kim, I wanted to be nothing but a gentleman to her. Barker did not spare any details on how their relationship went back then. He said, We were around each other a lot. We used her in ad campaigns for Famous. She came to my house and went swimming. We watched the 4th of July fireworks together. He then added, I go visit her and her family at their clothing store. We'd be really sweet around each other, like little kids. And then when we were apart, she'd call me and say, I want to see you again. Me too, I'd say. Barker then claimed that he saw his ex-wife again, but that he truly wanted to see Kim. This resulted in a confrontation. He claimed in his book, Shanna caught wind of what was going on. She poured a drink on Kim at a party thrown by Carmen Electra. I felt terrible. He then said, Kim and I never touched each other. It just wasn't meant to be. But it was clear there was no awkwardness between them. He told us weekly in 2015, I had a crush on her and we were flirtatious, but nothing ever happened. She was so kind and polite. I just felt like being a perfect gentleman around her. It was a trip. He then added, When I see her, I give her a hug and wish her the best. And there's no awkwardness, because God knows when you hook up, shit gets awkward. True enough, both of them landed in a place where they both truly belong. Travis is now happily married to Courtney, and Kim is now dating her new beau, Pete Davidson. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.